This your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Another episode in today's world of social media. You can check me out on the rumble.com. You can check me out on youtube.com. Not in my house with Van Silk. I'm going to play a strong message in its entirety by the actor and singer Tyrese Gibson, who felt that our culture is being stripped down by many who are making money off of our culture. But at the end of the day, we will not even give the same love to our own people because it's about money. It's about how many people are viewing uh, you, how many people are watching. But the sad part about it is, he's talking about DJ Vlad, Vlad TV, five million subscribers. Guess he offered Tyrese money to come on his show, and Tyrese rejected him more than one time. But when you go to the levels of disrespecting the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Minister Farrakhan, and Martin Luther King, I even have a problem. So to make this short, I'm going to play the Tyrese video in its entirety. The video is courtesy of Tyrese on his Instagram page. Fair use, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And remember, black culture is what counts. We got to work with each other and amongst each other. This is your brother Van Silk. See you in another episode of Not In My House With Van Silk. Enjoy this piece. They say controversy sells, right? They saying like, yo man, why would you go up and go in on Vlad all you doing is sending him more followers and giving him more attention. I disagree with that. This is different. I want y'all to understand that this goo right here, this, this fucking goofy, goofy ass dude disrespected the honorable Elijah Muhammad. This man disrespected on multiple occasions. Disrespected the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And y'all gonna keep going on this show? <laughs> this dude right here disrespected the Honorable Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He says, <laughs> I'm, all, I'm almost, he's laughing, I'm almost sure <laughs> Dr. King <laughs> did not get assassinated on a balcony <laughs> to help him with child support payments. You fucking clown ball. You fucking clown. Do you understand what the fuck you doing, bro? Do you understand that we as black culture are coming onto your show and you sitting off camera trying to bait us into talking shit about each other and going at each other? You trying to bait us. All the, all the people that went to jail after they came on your show. Because the feds, you work for the feds. You setting niggas up to do interviews off camera. And everything that they're going into with details about their court case. About a shootout around RICO acts. Or anything that's going on. Everybody that come on your show. They go to jail. See, I don't bother nobody until you fuck with me. And then after you fuck with me, I'll say, okay, you know, I'm going to leave that shit alone. Then you come at me again. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to take the high road, man. I'm going to leave that shit alone. Then you're going to come at me again. So what part of me going through a divorce is funny, dude? What part of me... Going to court as a black man in the presence of a racist judge who abused his power and ended up giving me a bunch of fucking <laughs> outcomes of my court case beyond the scope of the law that he can do as a sitting judge. What part of that shit is funny? You know how many black people are in jail right now because of the criminal justice system or the family law court system? 
You as a white boy, you don't even know what the fuck it is to deal with the courts. So what makes my situation funny? Got it. So guess what? If you rappers and you singers and you actors decide to look the other way for somebody who continues to disrespect us as black culture, go on on the fucking show and go on to get your money. He offered me 10,000. He's making, I, dude, they, they, they all in my comment, they said the dude's net worth is 5 million. How the fuck did you get 5 million? You got 5 million off of black culture while putting us in jail, while laughing at us when we go to court and we deal with the judge beating our heads in and throwing us in jail. Yeah, culture vulture. You fuck with a real one this time, didn't you, bruh? I don't need none from you, bro. You can't ever do anything to ever make a difference in my career. Fuck you and your whole platform. Nigga, I said it. And every rapper and singer out there, stand with your brother. Huh? Y'all see what happened, right? Y'all see what happened? Every time anything is said about their community, they'll all band together and shut your ass down. But you gonna let that guy from that community continue to disrespect black culture and you gonna keep taking your goofy ass on the show? Yeah, you got an album to promote. Yeah, you got a single coming out. But how you gonna fuck with a racist who's baiting us as black culture into going at each other? Boosie, that's my nigga. I ain't never met him either, but I just seen him on the freeway in the ATL. He a real nigga like me. He's sitting there like, hey, you know what happened with Tyrese? <laughs> Boosie looking like, the fuck you talking about? He keeps going and going and going and going. That's the third fucking interview this dude did, bringing my name up out the blue. You got your head so far up my ass, how does my shit smell, nigga? You fuck with the wrong one, bruh. All of the press and media and blogs are all going in because they all agree. You offered me 10000 to come and do an interview. If you as black culture going to keep going on his show and go fuck with a racist who keeps disrespecting the shit out of Muhammad, out, the honorable Elijah Muhammad gets disrespected on this nigga's show. He disrespected Martin Luther King. I know, I know he didn't go to heaven and get assassinated on a balcony to, for child support. Motherfucker, I never reached out to no attorney Benjamin Crump to help me with no child support payments. You fucking clown. I never reached out to no Martin Luther King III and told him to come on some child support shit. I'm trying to shed light on a racist judge sitting at the bench abusing his power. And attorney Benjamin Crump is my brother. He doesn't officially represent me, but we reached out to him for advice about what can we do to get rid of a racist sitting judge who abused his power. You gonna laugh? Talking about Dr. King didn't get assassinated on a balcony? On behalf of fighting for child support payments, you fucking clown. Y'all going to take y'all goofy ass on his show all you want. He going to keep profiting off of black culture. And y'all going to sit there and keep laughing on camera looking stupid. Dude's worth $5 million. How much he paying you to do them fucking interviews? Y'all know they run ads on YouTube, right? Y'all know the clickbait is not nonstop. You think you need to be on his show in order to put your album and your song and your single on the map? Fuck that dude, man. You crossed the wrong one this time, bruh. Anybody who disrespect the honorable Elijah Muhammad, the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, fuck you. Yeah, I said it.
He paid me. He was about to pay me 10000 I wish you would go and do his interview for free. Any rapper and singer out here, any actor, whatever you're trying to promote, get your money. If you're going to be out here getting used, use black culture, pay me, motherfucker. Pay me. I don't do shit for free. Pay me. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. You think they going to stand with you? I know who I am. Black culture love me throughout all my flaws, my mistakes, and anything that goes down. Rather, I embarrass myself or get embarrassed. Black culture love me. I'm royalty. Who the fuck are you? Like I said, bruh. Like I said. Don't ever fuck with Vlad. Ever. It's a wrap. You've used us as black culture long enough. It's over. And if you're going to take your goofy ass on this show and do an interview, get your money. Get your money. He offered me 10000 Get your money. Don't let him keep making money off black culture. Get money off his motherfucking ass. His name is Vlad. Look him up. Yeah.